It's what you do. For today's video, we're doing something that I have never done before and I think potentially could be a series. Something you guys don't know about me, but you probably can assume, is that I love paint night. It's my favorite date idea. You go, you get an instructor that tells you how to paint, they tell you how to do it very wrong, you complain the whole time and say they're doing it wrong. No, that's the wrong order. Why would they do it like this? I'm not gonna listen to them at all. But then you kind of listen to them and then it turns out you were rushed. But you bring it home and you look at it every day and you go, wow, this is so sad. I feel like I should be able to fix this. And that's what we're doing today. Fixing paint night paintings. Let's get started. <laughs> okay, so I have narrowed this down to three different paintings. I have more than this, but I figured three options is enough. Option number one is a lighthouse painting. Option number two is a snowy backdrop. And option number three is a mountain thing. All three of these options are kind of bad for different reasons. The snow scene doesn't have enough going on. The mountain range has trees that are black, which is boring. And the lighthouse scene's sky is just not blended properly. There are three really solid options here, but for this first episode of fixing my paint night paintings, I have to choose one the lighthouse. I chose this one because I felt like it was the most interesting. I feel like I like the colors, but I could change them up. The sky is definitely not blended properly. There's even a black dot randomly in the middle of the sky. I also feel like the lighthouse was painted very badly. And there are just a lot of things that I feel like I can fix. I have a vision. You'll notice that this is actually a very long canvas and it doesn't all fit in my shot at once. So I did kind of have to focus on the sky first and then the water second. I realize I think I gave an improper explanation of what paint night actually is. So in case you don't know what it is at all, picture this. You and your group of friends go out to a paint night. You go into this room. It has a painting that everyone in the group is going to paint. There's an instructor and there's a step-by-step -step tutorial process that you and your group will go through with the instructor. They supply all the materials, the canvas, the painting, the water, the paintbrushes, etc. Sometimes there's even food and drinks there. It's really a social experience. I've done it for my mom's birthday. I've done it for my bachelorette party. Or it could even be a date night. I went for Valentine's Day one time. Because this is really intended to be a social experience, the painting results are often subpar. The thing you're trying to paint is usually very simple. The instructor has to be able to tell you and a group of 20 people how to recreate this painting and and you only have three hours to do it. The results are not going to be masterpieces and you kind of know that going in. It's more for like talking with your friends and also doing something artistic while you eat. But I cannot do anything casually. I take everything to an extreme and have to make everything perfect at all times. So when I do a paint night, I actually take it very seriously and I really look at the instructions that are going on with the instructor and I kind of do my own interpretation. I think we've learned from my Finishing Childhood Art Kits series that I do not like instructions. I hate reading them. I hate following them. I like to figure it out on my own. And even with a paint night where the sole purpose of the event is to follow the instructions, I find myself going, no, 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 that's, that's not the right order to do that. Or no, 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 this color would look better. <sighs> I go to paint night tutorials and I follow barely any of the instructions. And I have to say that is the most fun part of paint night for me. I go, ooh, you guys are painting the trees. Well, guess what? I'm painting the sky first. I, <laughs> I'm having a great time not following the instructions. So fun. Instructions are more like suggestions in my mind. It's a great time. I'd like to move our attention back to the painting that I'm painting right here. You'll notice that it's not quite put together yet. And the only thing I ask of you is to please reserve judgment until it is further along in the process. When I paint, I like to move around a lot. I don't focus on one area for too long. I like to repaint things and reinterpret them and try to see, okay, how is this really looking? Is it good? Is it not good? And this is just not, it's not done yet. 
I don't know if this process of circling around things is the proper way to do things. Outside of like elementary school art classes, I truly have had absolutely no painting classes. I really think I've just winged painting and somehow it ends up looking okay. And I like to give a disclaimer about that because people can be harsh sometimes and I'm just out here having fun making a painting. So please be nice to me. <laughs> I had a vision in my head of like this really nice pink and purple sunset kind of scene on the water. It's a lighthouse, obviously it's on the water. Oh, a lighthouse. I think I originally painted this painting with my friends because lighthouses are like a thing on Long Island. I don't know if it's actually a thing to other people. Maybe it's just a thing I've noticed. But there are a bunch of lighthouses around on the water. For example, the Montauk Lighthouse. I don't know. There's just different lighthouses and there's certain people that decorate their homes with a lot of lighthouse stuff. And I'm not even against it. Honestly, I love the lighthouse theme. If we have a bathroom that has a lighthouse theme, I think that's quite fun. I have gone so far off topic, I don't know even how I can regain focus. I want it to look like the waves are crashing into the lighthouse. And this is honestly quite messy right now, but I promise it'll get better. I just had to build a lot of the paint colors. I also focused on the water in the back and started adding a bunch of little tiny lines to create different colors and textures in the water. Because the sun is setting on the right side of the lighthouse, you'll notice that the water is more yellow on the right and more purple and blue on the left. After messing with the water for quite a while, I moved on to the lighthouse. I started sketching out the new shape for the lighthouse using this red color. I figured that would be a good base color to build off of because the sun is setting, everything's very warm, and I can always add colors on top. Then I started to do the shading. I went with a purpley gray color that kind of matches the sky for the left side of the lighthouse. This is the side that is in darkness and is not really getting the sun hitting it. On the right side, I started putting some of a red, white, creamy kind of color because that is going to be reflecting the sun. I also started working on the light inside the lighthouse. I suppose this is more of an old fashioned lighthouse where there's an actual fire inside. I think nowadays they just put an electric light bulb, but <laughs> this is a fire. On the right side, I added a white line to emphasize how bright that back side really is, and I blended it out. Once that was done, I dipped into some black and started painting a big area of black over some of my waves. All that work for nothing. Just kidding, this was a necessary step because the lighthouse cannot be just like floating in the middle of the ocean, or at least I don't think it can be. In my opinion, I feel like the lighthouse should be on some kind of land mass. So I decided to create a bunch of rocks. I feel like a rocky water area is often common around lighthouses, so this fits. I started off painting the rocks using my paintbrush and I was feeling like the rocks were looking way too smooth. They have more texture usually. So I started using this tool. I don't know what this tool is called. Just Googled it. Apparently it's called an artist knife. Regardless, it helps me create some texture on the rocks. Once the brown was done, I added some yellow to the rocks to kind of make it look like the sunset was reflecting off of them. I also added some black and purple to the left side of the rocks to create some more shading. Now I'm going back to the lighthouse to add some more details. The fire needs to be encased in some type of like glass or like, I don't know, metal bars. I personally feel like this looks like a birdhouse when it's done, but you know, I tried my best. After adding the initial black lines, I also added a bunch of shading and lines to make it look like, wow, this fire is really smoky and mysterious inside there. I also added some metal bars around the outside rim of the lighthouse so that people will not be able to fall off if they do go up to the top. On the bottom part of the lighthouse, I added some crevices and lines to make it look like it's very weathered from the salt water that is repeatedly hitting it over time. It just becomes very old and has a lot of different marks on it. I also added a tiny little window on the side of the lighthouse. After that, I went back to the waves and I added a bunch of white dots and splashes to really make it look like the waves are hitting the rocks and even the lighthouse. In the back, we have a small peninsula as well. 
I signed my signature on the bottom right corner, and here we have the side-by-side -side comparison of the before and the after. I am so happy with this result. I feel like I really did fix my paint night painting. I like that I was able to keep the placement of all of the objects. Like I kept the placement of the lighthouse, I kept the sunset and kept the sun in the same spot. But I also kind of changed up the colors. I really changed the way the water looked, added the rocks, and I feel like it really came together. I had so much fun doing this video. I really love the painting. I love the way it came out and I hope you guys like it too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye.